The gap between executive pay and worker wages continues to grow. In 2013, the average American CEO was paid 331 times what the average worker in the United States earned and 774 times what full time minimum wage workers made, according to a new analysis by the AFL CIO. Chief executives took home on average about eleven point seven million dollars in 2013. The average employee earned just over thirty five thousand dollars. Um, let's look at one specific example. Walmart. Michael T. Duke of Walmart stores brought in 20 million bucks in 2013. A minimum wage employee would have to work thirteen hundred seventy two hours at Walmart to make what Duke earns in one hour. Now, if you react to that and say, David, this is left wing propaganda. Why should the lowest employees on the totem pole doing relatively unskilled labor make as much or even close to as much as the CEO? And to that, I say, fine. What if you worked and earned twice the minimum wage at Walmart? You would still need to work 686 hours to earn what Michael Duke earns in one hour. What if you earned three times the minimum wage, you would still need to work 457 hours. That's 10 weeks of work at 45 hours a week to earn what the CEO makes in one hour. Let's take it even further. Even if you made 10 times the minimum wage at Walmart, very well compensated, you would still need to work 137 hours or almost an entire month to earn what the CEO earns in one hour. Forget about ethics and morals. OK, let's assume we don't care about whether it is ethical or moral to have this level of inequality. Let's say we don't care at all. What about the economics of it? What about the fact that supply side economics, where we have income trickle down to benefit the economy, does not work? And we know that demand side economics, making sure the middle classes have money to buy products and services does work. This isn't about morals, Lewis. This is just bad business and bad economics. Right. Well, uh, I mean, there's a couple ways to look at it. If you believe that these CEOs should be earning a salary based on what the uh, gross income is of their companies, uh, that's fine. You can believe that you can have that argument. But if none of these people underneath them were working for the company at all, how much money would they be making then? Nothing. That, that's absolutely right. And this idea that your job is direct, your salary is directly related to the revenue and profit that you bring in. We can find examples where that is somewhat true, but it completely ignores, aside from what Lewis is mentioning, it ignores that the entire businesses are based on a system where government has established the um, uh, the, the judicial and legal and social framework, right, that allows these businesses to exist, the roads, the water, the educations of so many of their employees. I mean, it just goes so far and, and people just don't seem to get it. If you defend this, if you defend this level of inequality, let me know.